the documentary itself is really about the plight of three, you know, young black men who, uh, because of their family dynamic, went into the unbeaten path and got caught up in the streets and showing why that happened and us becoming the individuals that we've become through that family dynamic and being, um, I guess, gravitating, you know, to the streets and then thinking about things the wrong way and looking at things. And, um, uh, you know, like Jay said, we never prayed to God. We prayed to Gotti, right? Showing the genesis of that and where that came from and how that started to change uh, as we got older. And then, you know, obviously coming together, building reasonable doubt. That was the transition that took us from one place to another, right? So it was like leaving one thing behind and starting something new. But at the same time, thinking about the way we did business in another world and then translating that to, you know, to something legal, right? So, I mean, it's, that says it all, right? <laughs> A hard knock life was the, that moment where we all f felt like we made it and Jay got his just due, right? So, you know, reasonable doubt in the beginning went gold and then eventually going platinum. Uh, volume one, uh, same, you know, skipped the platinum after releasing Streets is Watching after we we went, on, went and did uh, that Sunshine video, we had to bring it back to the streets. But Hard Knock Life was that thing, you know, where we, I think we were number one for maybe uh, nine weeks in a row with a number one album, you know, selling like two, 300,000 a week, every every week. It was, um, it was like finally, you know, we made it, right? That six million and, and also, you know, winning the Grammy. And coincidentally, talking about that hard time, growing up, that's all I did with my mother's watch Grammy. So it was even hard for me because now I'm on stage, you know, with Jay and we accepting his Grammy. And I'm like, damn, I don't even have my mom here to kind of see this. You know, that would have been one of my greatest rewards for her to see. But uh, I mean, Hard Knock Life, other than being a classic, was something that propelled us and help bring pop culture where we were without crossing over to it. Well, for 4th of November specifically, it's um, our, um, paying homage to Denim, and it's really about mashing culture, encompassing everything that's going on, not only in streetwear, but outside of it. You know, you think about outdoor, you think about all these little niche sports and these subcultures as well. Something that plays along that almost anybody could wear and be a part of, not something that caters to a certain crowd, but mashes everything together. Um, and 4th of November, we're actually going to launch that um, on November 4th of this year. So we're relaunching the brand right now. And Reasonable Doubt is something that started out from the celebration of the 20-year anniversary. And we started with a merch line. And I just started to see, the, uh, one, how much people was loving it, right? Because they've never had anything like that from us. And then I decided it, to take it somewhere different. So it's going to be... Like some of it will be a merch line, but I, I turn reasonable doubt into a streetwear line. I'm hopeful, and and you know that they make an album together. But I mean, I got Jay on Google alerts. I found out the same way everybody else, man. So I, I don't have no inside information. We heard Bonnie and Clyde part one and part two. I mean, when they get together, it's always magic. So even with Top Off right there, it's, it's, a, it's another joint already. Like you, I, I just heard it the other day in the club, and it felt like it was something that I heard for like four months. So it's already having an impact when, but. Those are two, you know, husband and wife, you know, best friends, and they two major artists. So it, I wouldn't expect nothing less than a classic if they did make a project together.